Hi, it's me again with Crow Roll Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this feather. It's a vector feather, so that's good. And they sent me this circle, ellipse. And they want to blend it. Well, there's all, I've, so I've got blend, I've got transform, and I've got fit, uh, object, fit objects of path. Because I'm going to use all three of them and show you the difference. So I'm going to blend these. There's the blend. I'm going to hit apply. I blended them 30 times. I'm going to go to new path, put them on the path, blend them along full path, and apply, and you see what you get. And then if I would have rotated them all, you get a little closer. But in, you know, even if you change your ratio or your object origin and do all kinds of tricks in here, it's not as easy. So X out blend. Let's back up here. What I like, and I'm going to do it two ways in case you do not have, uh, I cannot remember when object to path started. And then object to path, basically, I think we have turned this upside down and put our object order here, shift select, apply, and it does it exactly what we, or what they want. They want these 30 feathers around this path. Now, if you do not have object origin, you can still do it. But in this, we can actually turn this back around the other way. We can actually put it kind of on our path. And this is just as easy. Don't make a duplicate of it yet or anything. Just go and put it in the center. And then don't use object origin. Use uh, transformation. And, uh, 30 will go into 360. Uh, 12 degrees, hit apply, and it does the exact same thing. Sometimes this is actually easier. Um, and you know, if you, if you, let's say they wanted 31, or let's say they wanted 32. Well, all you have to do is type in 360 divided by 32, and it's going to put it in there. Now, I didn't make enough copies, so I, I should have put in one more copy but it does the same thing and it'll figure out the math for you. It's 11.25 degrees. If you wanted more than 30, you know, if you wanted, uh, you know, let's say you want uh, 360 divided by 50 and then make this 49. And the reason we make it 49 is because it'll be, uh, we already got one copy and then you have that, but you can do the same thing with object to path. Uh, if you have it, it's a really neat tool. Just sometimes you have to, you know, make sure you where you put your center and and on and on. But that's a pretty cool design. I'm kind of curious what they're going to do with it. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.